Hi, it's Carolyn. I'm here to help you learn how to bake and decorate amazing cakes. And in this video, we are troubleshooting. So I stacked a cake and then I realized that the top tier, the icing was the completely wrong color. She wanted more of a dusty rose and this was, this ended up being too pink. And I actually used dusty rose gel food coloring and it just did not turn out the right way. So I'm gonna show you how I disassemble a stacked cake and then change the icing color and then restack the cake. And just a note, I ice all of my cakes in American buttercream and I refrigerate all of my cakes. So when I handle my cakes, they are cold just out of the refrigerator and the icing is solid and I'm not gonna mess it up. So let's get started. I'm gonna start by stacking the cake. I always wash my hands before I handle my cakes. I got that bottom tier out of the refrigerator. I'm making sure that it is level. And then I am using my ruler to measure how tall these straws have to be. And I'm putting my straw on top of the ruler and marking just past the end of it with the marker. And then once I do that for all the straws, I cut that marker off and then I'm gonna throw the piece with the marker away, put all of the straws in the cake and then countersink them. And then I'm just putting my level on top of that to make sure that it is still level. And then I'm gonna get a little bit of buttercream icing down. And I do have a full stacking tutorial on my channel and I will link that below. I got that top tier out of the refrigerator. The icing is cold and that cardboard circle is gonna sit atop of those straws and it is not going to collapse. Make sure that it is level again and then I'm going to dowel the cake. Now that bottom tier is a double barrel cake and I have a video showing you how I make the double barrel cake and I will link that in the description as well. I'm patching that hole with some buttercream icing and I'm gonna put that back in the refrigerator. And now since I'm going to remove the top tier, I put a piece of tape down, I wash my hands again and I got that out of the refrigerator and that icing is cold and solid again. So I'm just trying to twist it and lift it up off of that dowel. And then I had to scrape the icing off of that cardboard circle so it would stick to that piece of tape. And then I want to patch that little opening there with some buttercream icing. And I'm twisting out the dowel and removing the dowel. I'm gonna rinse that under water so it's clean. I'm gonna set that aside and let's put that back in the refrigerator. Both of those tiers are back in the fridge. Now I wanna make the icing. So this is Aster Mauve and Dusty Rose. So I'm gonna test it a little bit first so I'm putting a little bit of that mauve in there mixed with a tiny bit of that rose and seeing what the color is and that looks pretty good so I'm adding that back to the bowl that has the white buttercream icing in and I'm just adding a little bit more coloring so I'm doing a little bit at a time and then I'm going to mix it and see what color I get and then I will add a little more if I need to deepen it so that still looks like it's a little too light and I needed a little bit more icing so I added a little bit more white and then I'm adding more of both of those colors and mixing that again. And I'm gonna keep doing that until I get the right shade. And then I mix it in the bowl, just scraping down the sides and the bottom, and that's a beautiful color that I need. So that cake is just out of the refrigerator. That icing is cold and hard and solid, so I'm not gonna mess it up when I do this. And I'm spreading a very thin layer of icing on here. I don't want it to be too thick because there's already two layers of icing underneath. So you can see how thin that is. So I'm starting at the very bottom and I'm taking my spatula and I'm just spreading it around the bottom half. And then once I have the bottom half done, I'm going to bring it up to the top half. And I wanna make sure that this icing goes over the top of the cake. That way I can level it off. So I keep putting icing on and spreading it around until it comes over the top of the cake. And then I'm adding a little bit more icing around the center and the bottom of the cake. That way when I scrape it off with the bench scraper, it's going to be a little more even because it seemed like the top had a little bit more icing, but I'm gonna scrape most of it off. And I also want to remember to fill in the very top of the cake as well. So now I'm gonna take my bench scraper and I dip it in a pot of hot water and then I always want to take a paper towel and wipe that off. So I just have a hot blade here and I'm going to start to scrape off this excess icing. There was a little hole there so I just patched it with some more icing. Now every time I'm gonna keep going back and dipping that bench scraper in the water, wipe it off with a paper towel and then scrape this off. So I have a video where I go into detail on how I ice smooth buttercream colored cakes and I will link that in the description. So I'm just making sure I hold that scraper vertical and I'm working in sections and you don't want to do this too many times and then I'm taking this Viva paper towel you can see there's air bubbles and imperfections in that icing and I'm just lightly using my fingers and rubbing it up and down trying to remove all of those imperfections in the icing and it's stuck there a little bit meaning that the icing was a little too wet so I just want to let it dry and set 
it for about three minutes and then I continued the process. If you find the paper towel starting to stick, it's just because the icing needs to set a little bit. So I keep running my fingers up and down that paper towel and peeling it away, just removing all the imperfections in the cake. And it's starting to look so much better. So I just want to refine it with the fondant smoother. So I'm putting the paper towel against the cake and using my fondant smoother just to get it and make sure that it's in a circular shape, that it's not kind of distorted at all from me rubbing my fingers up and down. So I'm just contouring it to the edge of the cake. And that looks really good. Now I want to dip my spatula in that hot water and then I'm just pressing back this excess icing and removing it. So I want to hold that spatula straight across, make sure it's level. That way I don't um, have an angle to my cake and I just am down the eye level with the cake and just removing that excess icing. And again, this is covered in my tutorial on how I ice smooth buttercream cakes. There's a little line at the top that I want to erase. So again, I'm just taking my fondant smoother and kind of pressing a little bit more at the top to try to erase that line that was created at the top of the cake. And that looks so much better. So I wanna put that back in the refrigerator for about five minutes so the icing can set before I do the smoothing process. Now I have some paper here with a fondant smoother and I'm just pressing the paper against the side of the cake and that is going to remove any of the imperfections in the icing that was left by the paper towel. So you smooth out the air bubbles and the lines with the paper towel, and then you smooth out the lines that the paper towel caused with the paper. <laughs> and then I just wanna refine this edge again. So I am sitting eye level with the cake and I keep dipping that spatula in the hot water, holding it perfectly level, and just getting a really crisp, sharp edge against around the top of the cake. And then I just want to scoop out a little bit of water and put that on top of the cake and spread it out very quickly so it doesn't darken the color of the icing. And I'm spreading that water to the edges and then I'm going to start from the edges and go in just to smooth out all of the icing on the top of the cake. And then I just want to refine it one more time with a piece of paper, making sure it's perfectly round. And I'm going to put that back in the refrigerator overnight. It was in the fridge for 12 hours. Then I removed the bottom tier and got a little bit of that buttercream icing down. And then I took that top tier out of the refrigerator and I'm going to remove it. So again, my hands are clean. I didn't show me washing my hands. My hands are always clean when I handle these cakes and I'm removing it from that cardboard. And you could see the white layer is the crumb coat. The pink layer is the icing layer that was on there. And then we have that thin dusty rose color layer on the outside. I'm going to make sure that it is level. And again, I'm going to hammer the dowel through both cakes down into the cake drum and patch that hole with the icing. And here is the cake fully stacked. And to show you the difference of what it looked like on the left was the pink and on the right is the new icing color. So there you go. There is a simple process of changing the icing color on your cake. Couple things. Number one, this works best if the icing is really cold and the cake is just out of the refrigerator. That way you don't mess up that layer of icing underneath it. Number two, you wanna make sure that you put on a very thin layer of icing because the cake was already crumb coated and frosted in that pink icing. So I just wanted to do a really thin layer on the outside of this new color. Now, you can also cover the cake with fondant to cover up color mistakes, but I opted to just do icing because I just didn't feel like covering the cake with fondant. However, you could do either option. So I think that's it. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them below. And just a reminder, I do have a Cake Academy membership program where I can help you elevate your cakes to the next level. All of that information is listed in the description. Please like this video if you liked it, and if you're enjoying my tutorials, I would be so grateful if you could buy me a coffee. My link is down below. And I would love it if you would keep in touch on socials and you could check out my website. And if you want to stick around, you can watch this video next and hit subscribe and the bell if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. And remember, it's cake. Have fun. I will see you on the next one. Bye.